it's better. <laughs> Hey guys, this is my review for Star Wars Rogue One, a Star Wars story, and wow, this movie really beat my expectations. Mainly I say that because the first thing that was bothering me about this movie is the choice of director, Gareth Edwards. And Gareth Edwards is, he's okay, he's a nice guy, he did okay work with monsters, but then when he did Godzilla, I just really hate that movie. It is so stupid, the amount of times that giant monsters appear out of nowhere, the fact that it keeps on cock blocking you of action. Anyways, so that was the thing I was most worried about. Mm, no. Completely blew away my expectations. The depth of these characters, the construction of this story, the action pieces are all so good. And for once, it actually follows something of its own. Sure, there's a lot of influences, not only from the lore, but also from other film stories. But it's different, unlike Force Awakens, which was a giant homage to every single moment of Star Wars Episode 1 and 2. I'm talking about New Hope and Empire Strikes Back. This one actually went beyond and did something different. How, what is this film about? This is about how the plans were acquired in the beginning of A New Hope. You know, that little paragraph that you see in the opening scroll? Yeah, this was this entire movie, but there was so much more to it. Admittedly, the first five, ten minutes are really janky because it's very rushed there's a lot of characters being introduced and you're kind of re you're lost I was lost I was like oh if the movie keeps going like this I'm gonna kind of want to butt out but admittedly it slows down and everything starts to work Felicity Jones was fantastic in this movie you really grew to her character because she was this rebel this rebel without a cause and she didn't really care for anyone except herself and she just basically wanted to forward herself but then you slowly see her start to come adjusted to this rebellion and she's the one who's a part of the main or the main force another thing that was really probably one of the best parts about this movie is it showed the structure of the rebellion and how it was flawed now when we see it in episode four five and six it's all like everyone's good everyone's gung-ho for the cause this talked about everything before when they weren't gung-ho when they were divided when they were incompetent when they really didn't think straight about what they wanted to do they were more so a rebellious terrorist force literally in rebel they were terrorists and in this movie they were terrorists people were being killed on both sides and that was something that this movie talked about was the cost of a rebellion and every character was so good. Not only were the characters good, but the writing was fantastic. I saw that Tony, Gil Tony Gilroy was on the team, and he's a fantastic writer. And I saw his brother was also in the editing department. And this movie just flows so well. After those first 10 minutes, admittedly, everything gets way better after that. And every character is so well... And I just liked everything about this movie after the 10 minutes. Another one of my favorite characters in this movie was Ben Mendelsohn. His portrayal as a Imperial Intelligence Officer was so well done. He's probably one of the best characters in this film in terms of structure. Whereas he is this guy who has helped pretty much been one of the main people in the construction of the Death Star. And we see that he doesn't really care so much for the Empire, but he cares about his own success being recognized. And that is part of what his character is and that leads to the final conclusion and I just everything about this film the visuals the action the jokes there was actually some really good jokes in this film even though we kind of already know what's going to happen we know the outcome of this movie we've seen how episode four starts but even with that in mind you still will enjoy this film beyond what you would expect the action pieces are fantastic the homages to the old films are good but they're not reliant they give this proper fan service whereas force awakens relies off the past this film is in the past but it does it on its own two feet and again i was completely blown away at how much i like this film the music was well different it definitely had a different tone to it and it was an enjoyable set piece the audio everything i'm just this film was really well done on technical, acting, directing, cinematography, everything about this movie that could have gone wrong went well and went beyond my expectations. 
There are some issues, however, like I said, the first 10 minutes are a bit disjointed. There are some issues later on with the film. There are some character choices that kind of seem a little bit odd, whereas later on they are explained. But there are some dialogue pieces that are not the best. There are some side actors who are really bad. But otherwise, I still think this movie is shy of being really good. It's not the best movie of the year, but it is one of my top five for sure now. I'm going to give Star Wars Rogue One a 6 out of 7. It was a phenomenal movie. I enjoyed it. I can't believe that I liked it as much as I did. I'm still flabbergasted at how well this movie was put together. Gareth Edwards... You made up for Godzilla, at least in my opinion, man. Anyway, guys, that's all for me. I really hope you enjoyed this review. I'll be doing a spoiler talk later on. I'll see you guys next time.